I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is Psychac's Better Living Through Psychology. And the topic of today's short talk is men's romantic fantasy. So I've already introduced the idea that most men are romantics in a previous episode. Today, I'm going to be discussing in greater detail what I believe is the most predominant romantic fantasy that exists in the contemporary masculine imagination. You may not believe me when I tell you what it is, but I ask for your patience and open-mindedness as I make my case over the next several minutes. Here it is. The most predominant male romantic fantasy, at least when it comes to their sexual relationships with women, is partnership. The most romantic thing a man can want from a woman is partnership. Probably not what you were expecting, right? So what do I mean by this? What I mean by partnership is the idea that no matter what, I've got your back and you've got mine. No matter how bad it gets, I will pull you out of the fire and I trust that you will do the same for me. We'll be working together as teammates on a shared mission, the shared mission of family, prosperity, and happiness. When we put our egos aside and selflessly devote our lives to each other, we secure our best possible chance of achieving our goal. All for one and one for all. No one gets left behind. So this is a beautiful dream. But in my experience, this isn't what women want. And it doesn't take much to understand why. Most women mate and date for gain. This means that most women will not entertain the possibility of a relationship unless she believes it will significantly improve the quality of her life. It's very difficult, if not impossible, for a man to simultaneously be an equal partner and a better option. And if a woman has to choose between these two options, nine times out of ten, she's going to choose the guy who can significantly improve the quality of her life. However, as easy as this might be to intellectually understand, that doesn't stop many men from thinking that this kind of partnership is possible. And to be fair, women are complicit in this understanding. They talk about finding their partner in crime or being a power couple or just espousing equality in relationships as a virtue. This gives men hope that an equal partnership is what women are actually signing up for when they enter into relationships. Contrary to popular belief, men love the idea of equal partnership, not only because, as I've discussed in a previous episode, 50-50 relationships represent a substantial savings to men relative to the standard costs of doing business, but because it caters to their romantic fantasy that they can be loved, not for what they do, not for what they can provide, but just for who they are. You see this idea reflected in the marriage vows. I don't know who wrote those traditional vows, but I guarantee you it was a man. Like, I've been to a lot of weddings, and if anyone's crying at the altar, in the vast majority of cases, it's the groom. The groom is the one in tears. And this is not because, cynically, he is catching a glimpse of a bleak future. No. It's because there is a woman standing in front of her family, her friends, and God himself and promising that she is going to stay by his side no matter what. You're you're going to stay with me even if I'm sick? You're going to stay with me even if I'm poor? Oh, God. Like, can I, I can understand why a man would get emotional at that moment because no one has ever done that for him ever in his entire life. And the idea that he has finally met someone whom he can rely on to that degree, whom he can so fundamentally trust, someone in whose hands he can place his heart and soul, that's a beautiful and awesome and touching idea. But guys, I have just one question for you. If this is such a beautiful idea, at least in part, because most men have never experienced that kind of devotion and security in a relationship before in their entire lives, then on what grounds can you reasonably believe that this woman is going to be the exception? 
If you appreciate the insights on this channel, I would highly encourage you to get your hands on a copy of my book, The Value of Others. Over the course of 432 pages, I delve deep into my economic model of relationships and explain the behavior of both men and women in the game of mating and dating. I also provide a lot of actionable advice on how to get and keep more of what you want in the sexual marketplace. Once you read The Value of Others, you'll never look at relationships the same way again. Now available in ebook, audiobook, and paperback formats. The links are in the description. I appreciate that's a pretty hard-hitting question. Like, it's possible that she'll be the exception. There are some very loyal, very good women out there, but they are rare, gentlemen. They are rare. And given that they are rare, I would suggest that the burden of proof lies on demonstrating that she is the exception as opposed to assuming that she is until you see evidence to the contrary. The fact of the matter is that the road of life is twisty and turny. I don't know any man's life that is a constant slope up and to the right. Like, I've lost everything more than once in my adult life, and I've built it all back and more. There have been ups and downs, ups and downs. Over that time, I've had many different relationships. And let me tell you, no woman has ever left me when I was doing well. Let that sink in. No woman has ever left me when I was doing well. Men, look at your own relationship experience. When a woman has decided to end a relationship, what were the circumstances of your life? Like, what was going on? Did she leave when you were successful or when you were struggling? Did she leave when you were relaxed and thriving or when you were stressed and overwhelmed? I hate to break it to you, but partners don't cut and run when the going gets tough, which is why I've come to the conclusion that despite the apparent evidence to the contrary, women don't really want to be partners. They want to benefit. They want the ups. They do not want the downs. And they can want that because they can get that. That's just the reality of the sexual marketplace. So while I would absolutely say that there are some fantastic, wonderful, phenomenal women out there, it's probably safer to assume that any one woman that you're dealing with does not belong to that rarefied class. The burden of proof is on her to demonstrate that she's the exception, not the other way around. The idea of partnership, gentlemen, is beautiful. It's one of the most uplifting and ennobling relationships human beings can have with each other on this planet. And while it is possible to have that kind of relationship, the kind of relationship in which no matter what you have each other's back, guys, you are much more likely to have that kind of relationship with another man than with a woman. This is the kind of relationship you find in the band of brothers among soldiers who fight shoulder to shoulder. It's If one of their comrades is wounded, they will carry him out under enemy fire if needed because they trust that he would have done the same for them. You are much more likely to find that kind of trust and loyalty and teamwork, that selfless surrender to the shared mission among men. Like, it's still rare, but it's much more common in male communities, teams, and groups than in sexual relationships between men and women. So hopefully, I've made a case for the idea that partnership is at the heart of the male romantic fantasy when it comes to their sexual relationships with women. In my experience, most women don't want partnership. So if you engage with women with that intention, you are likely going to be disappointed. Fair warning. What do you think? Does this fit with your own experience? Let me know in the comments below. And please send this episode to someone who you think might benefit from its message because it's word of mouth referrals like this that really help to make the channel grow. And anyone looking to join my free weekly newsletter or book a paid consultation can do so on my website. The links to everything are in the description below. As always, I appreciate your support and thank you for listening.